Hey guys, happy Monday. It's Connor here. Welcome back. Hope you're all enjoying your day so far and I've had a great start to your week. So this week is National Fragrance Week. So happy National Fragrance Week to all of those who celebrate with us. Um, and for National Fragrance Week, Harry and Homeworks are having their annual sale per usual. So there is a lot of good deals going. This is honestly the biggest sale that Homeworks by Slatkin & Co has had in quite a while. So um, a lot of us will be shopping not only the newness, but also just some stuff that we've been wanting to pick up, but we've been waiting for a sale. So um, now is the time to shop. There are some really great deals out there as well as some newness and some returning candles coming to the site. So today's video, I just kind of want to discuss with you guys um, what's going to be happening, what the sales are, what's new, what's returning. I actually have a little first sniff to give you guys of one of the new scents. This is powdered sugared crepe. So this will be coming um, with the new boozy brunch collection. I have my computer right here, by the way, to read off all of the notes and stuff for you guys. So yeah, this one is launching. And so, um, yeah, we just have a lot of little fun stuff to talk about for the sale. So we're going to get right into it. Um, I will link below the Slack and Co website. It's just www.slackandco.com. Um, that is the homeworks website where all of this will be taking place. Um, if you don't already know, QVC is separate. So this is all just happening on the homeworks website. Okay, so let's get right into it. Um, first of all, the dates for National Fragrance Week are the 19th through the 24th. So that is tomorrow, Tuesday, until the 24th, which is Sunday. So it's gonna be running through the 19th through the 24th of March, 2024. Um, the, the sales will be kicking off tomorrow morning, I believe. Um, there will be a Instagram live with Harry Slatkin over on the Homeworks Instagram page tonight at 7 p.m. March 18th. This video should be going up by March 18th. I'm filming it right now in the afternoon. I hope I can get it up quickly. Um, where we're living, the Wi Fi is a little bit slower, so it might take a little while for this video to get a little bit um, up. But um, there will be a Instagram live on the Homeworks Instagram at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with Harry and they will be launching all of the deals and the newness and all of that. Um, I'm not sure when the actual sale is gonna hit. I think it's gonna be Tuesday morning on the 19th because that's when it says it starts, but there will be a uh, live with Instagram tonight with Harry and he will go over everything. So that's the kickoff to the whole sale. And then we do have new candles and returning scents that will be back on the website. Some of them we've seen before. Some of them did go to QVC first and now they're going to Homeworks. And then some of them are just brand new to Homeworks in general. So um, let's go ahead and get started. The first launch is going to be on the 19th with the Farm Stand Collection and the Springtime Treats Collection. So those are the two collections that will be launching on the 19th. The first one, the Farm Stand Collection, is actually all returning scents. So it's going to be Farm Stand Watermelon, Farm Stand Peach, and Farm Stand Strawberry. Those are the first three that will be launching. By the way, I'll put all of this in the description box so you can follow along. It's a lot of info. <laughs> um, but yeah, those are the first three that are launching. Um, we have seen all three of those scents before. There is the farm stand peach right here. Um, I'm not sure if this will be the packaging or not for it. I haven't really seen yet, but um, yeah, this is the farm stand peach and then the farm stand strawberry as well. Um, noticeably missing is the farm stand blueberry. Not sure why they're not including this one because this is like the trio that everybody loves. So I don't know why they're not doing the farm stand blueberry, but it's not on the list. So not sure about that. And then the farm stand watermelon, I have never tried before. Um, and it's been out before on QVC. So yeah, that will be finally hitting the Slack and Co website. So there's a first three that will be launching on the 19th. Um, I feel like we all know these scents by now, but if you're newer, Farm Stand Peach is just a really delicious, juicy peach scent. Um, you do get some sweetness from the vanilla in here. 
And honestly, out of this trio, the peach one is my favorite. I love it. I also just love the packaging on this. So cute with the lid and just these little patterns. So that's the first one. And then I do also love this farm stand strawberry. It is a really delicious um, candied strawberry scent with a little bit of like a current note in there that makes it really unique. Um, but it's just a great scent. It's got a uh, fresh farm strawberry, red raspberry, currant, lemon zest, and crystallized sugar. I love this one. And then um, the farm stand peach is the ripened peach mandarin, peach blossom, and sugared vanilla. And then the watermelon one is watermelon juice, sweet honeydew, strawberry leaf, and crystallized sugar. Now, honestly, I don't love watermelon scents always. I don't really like melon scents in general. Like, I've never liked honeydew scents or watermelon. So, personally, I will probably pass on that one. But watermelon is a delicious summer fruit. Like, I like eating watermelon, but I just don't always love the melon scent. Don't know why, I just really never have. So um, I'll be passing on that one most likely, but those three will all be out on the 19th. Okay, the next one is gonna be the springtime treats, which if I am correct, these are all five repackages. Four of them have the same name that they've had in the past, and then one of them is a newer name, but I, I've gotten some confirmation from a few other ambassadors that this one is not a new scent, and it is a repackage just with a different name. So, springtime treats. There is Root Beer Float, which we've seen that one before. I think that one launched last spring. Um, it's root beer, anise, or anise, sparkling ginger, vanilla bean, and crystallized sugar. I've never had that one. I don't like root beer scents at all. I don't even like the taste of root beer. It's just not really my thing. So I'll definitely be passing on that one. Um, mint chip ice cream is iced peppermint, crushed white chocolate, crystallized sugar, and whipped cream. Now I do think I would like this one. Mint chip is actually my favorite flavor ice cream probably, so I probably would like this one. But I do think I'm gonna pass on it because I don't know if I would want mint right now during the spring. I think I consider that, unless it's like an herbal mint, I consider mint more of like a um, holiday thing. So I'll pass on that one, but I do love mint chip ice cream. Um, did I read the notes? Yeah, I did. Uh, next up, vanilla bean ice cream, which we've seen before, and I do have this one sitting in my cart because I love vanilla scents, and Harry is kind of the king of gourmands, and so I really want to try this one out. It's Madagascar vanilla bean caramel cream, which the caramel scares me just a little bit, but I watched a few reviews on this one, and it apparently isn't super strong in the caramel notes, so I think I'm safe on that cinnamon and crystallized sugar so that vanilla ice cream has been out before but um it just sounds really good and i've heard a lot of good things about that one so i would like to try that um pink lemon shortbread which is pink lemon vanilla shortbread sugared citron buttercream swirl i have had that one before and i love that scent it's a really delicious um like lemon gourmand scent really good i'm not going to get it again just because i have already tried it and i'm kind of in like my don't buy it again if you've already reviewed it era because as a reviewer, I can't buy everything. I have to like prioritize new things to review and the newness. So it's a delicious scent, but personally I'll be passing on it. But if you've never tried it before, I highly recommend pink lemon shortbread. And then the last one is raspberry coconut cake, which actually launched on QVC a few weeks ago. I was very interested in this one. The notes are coconut cake, fresh raspberry jam, raspberry sugar, and vanilla cream. That sounds right up my alley, but you know what I've heard that this is a dupe of? Apparently, it is a dupe of the raspberry coconut snowball from the holidays, which if you guys remember my review on that one, I didn't like that scent. Um, it wasn't like an awful scent, but I didn't think that it was sweet enough and I didn't really like the supposed raspberry note in there. Um, they said that it was raspberry, but I actually smelled um, something totally different. I smelled more of like a, I, I don't even know what it was, but it wasn't raspberry. It was a different fruit and I did not like it because it wasn't sweet enough. So I personally wouldn't recommend that one if you have similar taste to me, but um, definitely worth the try if you've never tried it before because obviously everybody has different taste and fragrance, so you may love it. But that one is launching on March 19th, and those are all returning scents to the website. 
And then last but not least, the Boozy Brunch collection, which is this, this is the collection that has new scents in it. Um, so the first one, Boozy Brunch, obviously, which is bubbly Prosecco, sparkling citrus, pineapple nectar, and a grapefruit twist. Now, you guys know me with boozy scents and Harry. He loves a lot of booze in his boozy scents, and I just personally don't always love them. Um, I may take a chance on one of these because honestly, other than the boozy scent and the pineapple that's in this one, it does sound good. Sparkling citrus, Prosecco, grapefruit. I may like it, but um, personally, I don't know if I'm gonna pick any of these up. So that's the first one. Um, powdered sugared crepe. Okay, so this is the one that I chose for my PR. They did let me choose out of like five of the new ones and I chose this one. Um, so powdered sugared crepe is warm vanilla crepe, freshly ground cinnamon and melted butter and powdered sugar. This is the label. We've got a wraparound label uh, with some crepes on them. I love crepes. They are so, so good. By the way, this has the older um, or not the older, it's like the newer older lid. It's a little bit better than those cheaper lids, but it's still kind of a little bit more plasticky. All right, so powdered sugared crepe. Oh, I love this one, you guys. This is so, so delicious. Um, it is definitely giving hot cider donut vibes for sure. It's very like uh, similar to like that fried dough note. So if you've had a hot cider donut or sugared beignets is also really similar. I think you'll really like this one. Oh, I really like this one. I will say it's super similar to hot cider donut. So I'm not gonna like put this one down cause I love the scent. But if you do have a lot of hot cider donut in your collection, then you may not like need to get this one, but I still think it's a really delicious scent. Um, of course I haven't burned it yet. So I can't really give you like the burn review, but right now it smells great on cold. It's nice and strong. I do wanna burn this one and try and get a review out, um, hopefully while the sale is still going. So I'll try and get to burning this one this week and hopefully get a review up uh, later this week, or at least like a review on my weekly wax chat. But yeah, this one, this is really delicious and reminds me quite a lot of hot cider donut. So that is the powdered sugar crate. And then um, two more, in, or sorry, three more in this collection actually. So we've got Drunken Fruit Salad, which is also new. This is sparkling wine, red ripe fruits, green melon, and Georgia peach. Now, out of all of these, I think that this home one might appeal to me the most, although it does have the melon, which I said I don't love melon. But peach I love, I love fruity scents, and the wine I may be able to get past depending on I don't always love like super like sparkling wine scents, but if it's not super strong, I may like that one. And then the last two are returning scents that have been up for Rosé All Day, which is Rosé Sangria, Sweet Sunberry, Sparkling Orange, and Peach Blossom. And then the last one is White Sangria, which is Sweet Peach, White Cherry Juice, Pineapple, Coconut Rum, Apricot Nectar, and Raspberry. Those are both returning, but I've never tried either. They both have like the booze notes in them, obviously, but other than that, they all sound pretty good. Um, the white sangria does have the pineapple, but it's also got coconut, which I love. So I think that those would be both really great options. And obviously this is a very boozy collection. So it's not really up my alley personally, but I know a lot of people love Harry's booze scents. So those will be all there for you guys. <laughs> Um, and yeah, that is all of the newness. So there's a lot coming, there is a lot returning, and um, just a lot of new fun candles. All right, let's get to the good part, which is the sale. So what is the sale gonna be? The new scents, so the ones that I just listed, including the powdered sugar crepe, these are gonna be $22 each, which is a really good deal on these. Um, and you'll kind of see that you can add on something else in a minute, and I'll talk to you guys about that. But 22 for the new ones and then the existing scents. So any of the ones that have been on the website for a while now, those will be $20 each. And I believe that that will also include the fall and the holiday ones that are still left over because there are still some. So if you are a not a seasonal burner and you can burn anything whenever, then that will be a great time to stock up on those scents. Um, four wicks will be buy five, get one free for the $20 each ones. So with the $20 each ones, which will be the existing scents, if you buy five of them, you get one for free, which is making the deal even better. So if you're already getting five, get your one for free and get an even better deal. 
Um, the three wicks and diffusers will be 14 each. Now, honestly, I don't love the three wicks. I prefer the four wicks. You get more strength and throw. I find them that they burn a little bit better, but if you like the three wicks, they'll be on sale for 14. And then the reed diffusers are also 14. I've honestly never tried the reed diffusers, so I can't really speak on those, but if you do like those, they'll be on sale for 14. Um, hand soaps are two for 16. So if you want some of the hand soaps, they'll be two for 16. Um, I have found some at my home goods for even lower than that. So check out your local stores, but if you're not able to find them in your stores and you wanna get some from the Harry uh, Slack Can Homeworks website, then you can get them for two for 16. And um, also free shipping on $100. So if you're spending 100 or you're close to 100, you might as well get up to that point and get your free shipping. And um, the flat rate shipping will only be $5, which is a little bit lower than normal. So if you don't necessarily reach that $100 shipping rate, it'll be $5 for flat rate shipping. And then the best part, you guys, you can stack the ambassador codes and I'm guessing also rewards because if you can stack ambassador, I guess rewards, but probably not both at the same time, one or the other, but you can stack that with the sale to save even more money. So use my code Connor loves candles that will get you 10% off $40 or more. So you do have to meet the $40 mark. But if you do, you get an extra, or I'm sorry, not 10, 15%. I'm sorry, I don't know why I put 10. They changed it a while ago to 15%. So you save, uh, let me put that in my notes before I forget. 15% <laughs> off um, on the on the sale extra with the code. So um, definitely reach that 40 mark and get the extra savings because that's gonna make the savings even better. So yeah, guys, that's all of the information that I have for you guys today. Um, I hope that this video was helpful and informative for the sale that is coming up soon. Um, one more time reminder, Harry will be going live tonight, March 18th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Homeworks Instagram. I will put that down below. So if you don't follow them already, you can click on that and go right to their page. Um, and he is going to kick off all of this new National Fragrance Week newness. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you're excited for the sale. And if you are, let me know what you plan on picking up. Um, I will definitely be giving you guys my haul and what I picked up in probably a couple weeks once it gets to me. So stay tuned for that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.